I have a recurring dream. In it, I'm always walking on a path through the woods towards the unknown. And the sense of adventure, open heart, and a curiosity is always there. And in the exhibition, I'm hoping that you would join me on that journey and follow your own path in a new way. Road to the North comes from Basho, who's a Japanese monk from, I think, somewhere around the year 13 or 1400. And he did a pilgrimage through all the temples in, northern, in the northern island of Japan. And at every temple, he stopped and meditated, and he wrote a haiku and a piece of poetry that expressed the time, the place, his experience at that point in time. So that's my inspiration, and it's my aspiration for the show, that each image expresses a moment of significance for whoever's, for the viewer, not just for me, um, of openness or possibility or change. And this would be like another, another moment on the, on the path or on the road. And going north, you're always going towards um, the unknown and towards a sense of open human adventure. What I'm hoping is that the viewer, the person who uh, stops in front of the image connects and the painting communicates something about open heart, uh, touches uh, their sense of joy, aliveness, um, and in a way they they take an aspect of what it is that my heart put on the painting. If that communicates, that I'm satisfied with that. That's a lot. There's always dark places, places that are not just unknown, but that are dark. And for me, I would say uh, probably the hardest place to look is where my ignorance is. So this is looking at choosing to not be ignorant and look at all the things that I previously had ignored. Look at trying to go directly to them and letting the paint, the brush, the materials uh, find the right expression for it. Well, this piece uh, that we're looking at is called All the Complexities. And um, I guess I could say it represents all the uh, complexities when you turn inward and you're um, you're willing and you're open and you've had some moment of surrender which is the previous image then when you look and you look directly you actually can see like all the complexities both internally in yourself but also when you look at other and you look at the world uh, whether it's your lover or the local politician, you just look with really open, clear eyes. My meditation practice is very much interwoven through my creative process. And there, as you uh, said, asked me earlier, could I separate my spirituality from my art? And I said no, which kind of takes us to this which is called Breakthrough. And it's, um, well, what I said was, life springs upward from the fire and the earth towards the sky. Essentially, it's the power of the life force coming up through us and out into the world and manifesting. And having had that experience and really opened and been relaxed, then, we come to balance. Um, you know, what I said about it uh, when we hung it was finding the balance of the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and space, um, both inwardly and outwardly. So here, the challenge was to find a way to bring all of those energies into the picture, into the frame, in a triptych, um, 
where each one had uh, space, each energy has a voice, has its place, but they're also integrated in a way that flows, has balance. The exhibition is an expression of the expressive mind coming forward and showing what the next step might be. I'm hoping that when you see the exhibition, you'll join me on that journey and you'll have a moment of your own opening or wonderment, thinking of what's next? What's next on my journey towards the North?